Welcome Aquarius to your love reading for July. We're going to go ahead and look at all the possible energies that are coming in for you with regards to love over this time. Now just remember if the messages that come through do not resonate with you, not to worry, it's just not meant to be your reading at this time and you can go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs as they could have more relevant information for you. I'm going to just put all your oracle cards because I want to get a good picture of the energies coming in. Oh, that looks lovely. Got blessings. That's always such an auspicious card to come in, no matter what you're reading. And then we're going to clarify all the oracle cards with the tarot. That jumped, so we'll take that one. Oh. Okay, let's see what we have for our lovely Aquarius. So the first card we've got is heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. It's too many cards, guys. I'm just going to pull one more. Oh, this definitely wants to come out. Okay. Now, this is very nice. Very nice, very clear. And it tells us. Aquarius, for those of you who are already in a relationship, it's just telling us that this doesn't necessarily mean that you're in a crisis or anything like that. But having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about a certain issue, a certain matter, maybe a certain subject, okay, that you're really probably just holding back on with fear of what they're going to say or what they're going to do. It's telling you if you really present yourself from the from your from a heart perspective. Tell them how you feel. Tell them what's going on with you. Then we've got the um, the Ace of Pentacles coming through, which, which is beautiful because it's the hand of God within a brand new opportunity. It's actually telling us that this heart to heart conversation opens the doorway to something far better. So you could maybe maybe something that was holding you back, something that was worrying you, something that was concerning you, you have your heart-to-heart -heart conversation and it leads to a whole new aspect, a whole new stage of your relationship, okay? For example, if you've been with somebody for a really, really long time and you just feel like, well, what's going on here? We're going nowhere fast. If you have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, it could open the door to something more positive, or something more stable. Maybe that's what you wanted. For those of you who are single, this message is also coming through very strong, telling you that if you meet somebody and you feel there is potential, don't be shy. Don't be afraid to say what you want, what you're looking for, what you need, what you what 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 you out there for, okay, what your beliefs are, your values are. Because when you know exactly where you stand and where the person stands, you know, you if you're on the same page, it's going to open the doorway for something brand new, a brand new, brand new opportunity here. So remember, this heart-to-heart -heart conversation opens something brand new. So it takes you from where you are now into a whole new opportunity, a whole new beginning of something else. Lovely. Then we've got the crown chakra. And the crown chakra supports our spirit, uh, spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. So let's see what this crown chakra is all about here. Okay, we've got the five of swords. Now, this the crown chakra is coming through, especially you know the crown chakra is the energy point at the top of the of top of your head, and it's it's a very strong. Um, Chakra, it's a very strong energy point because it's all to do with our connection to the divine. So this is a lovely message because it's just coming in and telling you if there is anything that is worrying you, concerning you, any problems in terms of your love life, whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship, anything that's causing you um, anxiety, worry, concern, reach out reach out to the, the divine and ask for help. 
You know, guys, sometimes it's all we have to do is ask. And this could be done, especially with the crown chakra. I would really, if you can do it, guys, some kind of meditation, maybe just listening. If you, it's hard for you to listen, um, to meditate, then just listen to something that connects you, uh, that talks about the crown chakra and the connection to the spirit world. Because you need to open up this point, this channel. It's going to give you a lot of insights about whatever this is that's troubling you and causing um, distress in your life. It's going to give you um, answers and direction. So this is a lovely message coming through, especially for you from the divine. Then we've got the beautiful auspicious card of blessings. So let's go ahead. Oops, here we go. And there you have it. Queen of Cups. Okay, so the blessings that are coming in for you this month, Aquarius, is that you are going to start if you're not feeling this way already. So it, if, if you're in this position here, with whatever you do in terms of balancing, activating your crown chakra, asking for help, you're going to change the energy completely and you're going to start bringing in blessings. And you're presenting here as the Queen of Cups. And these blessings that you're going to be bringing in for yourself is that you're going to start feeling much more emotionally secure, stable, solid. You're going to feel like you're um, in a good place in terms of your mental health. You've got, you see how she's, look at her as she focuses on the cup which is holding with both hands. It's like you're very focused, you've got clarity, you know what you want in terms of love and a partner, and you feel like you're coming from a very strong um, standpoint. No matter what happens around you, your feet are on solid ground and you move forward beautifully. Right, let's see what this discipline card is with regards to the master teacher is all about. What is this all about for our Cancerians, this discipline card? Okay, we've got the Knight of Swords. This is lovely. This is lovely. Because the Master Teacher is coming through. We've got number 33. This is a very powerful number, guys. And tells us if we are disciplined, when I mean disciplined, but we keep our word to ourselves in terms of activating our crown chakra, sorting out whatever this is that is worrying us and that's concerning us, being true to ourselves in what we say and what we speak about to our uh, partner or future partners. If we keep this authentic behavior, this true to ourselves behavior, okay, this is where the discipline is coming in. It's going to, uh, see how I love the, the, reson the resonation of um, color here, yeah, how the colors resonate with each, with each other. It tells, it tells me that things are going to move very quickly for you in terms of progressing forward and blessings coming in. Because if we, by honoring yourself, um, speaking your truth, walking your truth, you're going to shift energy. Okay, and things are going to start moving and happening at a f far quicker pace. Right, so let's now pull an additional message for you with a little tarot. Let's see what we have in store for you. Another message for our lovely Aquarius. We've got the Four of Pentacles. I've got the King of Wands. And one, one more card for you. The wheel of fortune right this is lovely because we've got the four of pentacles coming in here that tells me very clearly that when you channel and connect with the divine in, with the, in terms of your the crown chakra with whatever is worrying you whatever is concerning you it puts you in a far more physically and mentally stable position and you're able to move forward with confidence, with grace, okay? And the King of Wands is coming in to tell us, once your crown chakra is activated and strong and your connection to spirit is there, you're going to be able to get out there, go out there and manifest and get exactly what you want. 
with such strength, such clarity, such belief in yourself, Wheel of Fortune tells us you're going to actually change things for yourself. Absolutely, there's a big change here. And it's really very interesting because by connecting to spirit and asking for help and meditating and visualizing whatever this is with the crown chakra, you bring in blessings. This king of wand energy, is, it's, also, it's a very dynamic energy and it facilitates the bringing in of blessings. Your, this, this emotional stability, by doing it on a consistent basis, things are going to move very, very quickly and you change. Things change. The wheel of fortune turns in your favor. Things change for you. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. So what I want to do now is just pull one more card for you. Just to see the best energy for you to work with over this period. Let's see what we have here with our lovely, for our lovely Aquarius. Best energy for you to work with. And we've got the chameleon spirit. Act as if. Oh, I like that. And I'll tell you why I like that. Because when you're doing it on a daily basis, right? We've got the discipline here. Whatever this is for you to bring in your blessings. When you're doing it on a daily basis, I want you, there's almost, it's like you, you start bringing in the energy before it's actually manifested. So I'm going to give you an example here. Um, guys, just say this is for some you really wanting to meet somebody that is your divine counterpart, your soulmate, whatever it is that you're looking for. And you're now asking spirit and you're reaching out and you're doing your work, right? So that you can solve the situation and bring in um, a divine counterpart and not all this previous kind of hard relationships that you've had before. If you start really believing that this person is in your life, what it'll look like, what it'll feel like, Act as if they've already there. Just spend some time in your own, with your own imagination, with, with meditation like that, acting as though they've arrived. Okay, where, where will you go on holiday? What would what would you do in terms of asking? You know what they feel like in terms of a, a family going about anything like that. Bring it in. Bring it in that, that it's like happening now. That this is so fantastic in terms of um, changing the energy. Wonderful. So there you have it, my dear Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it the thumbs up. And I'm sending you all lots of love.